Yo, it's your boy Lord Ron. Just made a beat recently. We're gonna break it down real quick and go a little behind the scenes and show how I made it, man. Let's do it. I'm just gonna load the beat up. Um, I called it serious. I don't know what the hell I was thinking. Uh sometimes titles come easy, sometimes they don't. So whatever. But um, yeah, as you see here, loaded up, this is the whole arrangement view. Um I usually not usually, sometimes I chop samples in the MPC um, and then record it to Ableton and then that way I can arrange it and stretch it the way I want. Sometimes I do this, sometimes I don't, but whatever. Um, but this is the sample I got um, and this is it pretty much. You can kind of hear it in full. So I don't know, when I heard it, I heard like two notes that I really liked. And I knew from there I was going to use those two notes and just build on that. So um, do it in MPC and then chopped it up. So those are the chops I made. started playing with those two notes that I told you that I liked in the beginning. playing that in my head and then I was just trying to figure out, you know, what I wanted to do with it, what drum I wanted to put on it or whatever the case is. It's pretty much building the tempo off of that. And I said, let me just record it and then, um, like I said, just build on it. Tap tempo to make sure what tempo it was. I think it came out to like 85 or something like that. That's like the B part right here. Chop three and four. Jump back to A. So at this point, I kind of figured out this is what I wanted to go with. So, uh, yeah, pretty much laid it down at Ableton. the main part. But then I went to go look for my uh, drum loop. Found this one. It wasn't in the right BPM, but I stretched it accordingly. As you can see, the drum loop is way longer than I needed it. So I kind of just chopped it to exactly what I needed and shortened it. Just here. EQ'd it. You can hear it knocks a lot more louder. Raise the low end, right around that sweet spot where the kick is at. The snare is real prominent, so 
kind of lowered it just a little bit. Still prominent, but I just wanted to kind of emphasize on the low end for sure. The snare still hits. Back to arrangement view and um, just kind of a little preview. So again, just starting off from there and then building on that as we go. So um, we all know this vocal sample. Come on. Come on. I don't know, I just woke up this morning and I had that song in my head. So I said it's gonna be great to implement that in the beat. Kinda worked out pretty good. So I threw the Serato sample. Isolated the vocals, and that's how I got that vocal in, pretty much. You know, I had this chant. So, uh, yeah, I just thought it would be great. Add a little scratch to it, so. Do it in uh, the M Rhythmizer. Edited the scratch, and this is how it came out. Just play with that for a little bit. That's kind of how it came out and sounded in the background. And for the intro, just did a little four count in. So I took the beginning of that eight part, chopped it up into four. Gave us our intro. You can hear with the vocal samples. to the A. Then for the second verse, I added some texture. Real subtle, but you hear it, it adds to that snare too in the back. Real subtle, but needed. Some ins and outs. Come on. I mean, just to make sure your head's not getting tired of the same things. Play with it. A little ear candy, a little something different. Going into the B. Come on. You know, I uh, did a two count in. Also did that with the drums, so it kind of sounded like a little chopped and screw kind of feeling. So he's, you know, right then and there, I said, you know what, a backspin will probably fit, and then go into the scratch of the vocal. Then um, this is how it worked out.
I sit by itself and then all together. Backspin. Main spin. And to the outro. So yeah, man, I just had a lot of fun uh making this, man. You know. Again, you know how it is. Uh sometimes it's hard to find a good sample. Sometimes you get some, sometimes you don't. Um, and then sometimes you just kind of float. It's like a snowball effect. You start and then it just keeps going and going and going. You get something you can add, something you can take away. And um, it's just the fun of production, man. It's a little more, bit more than beat making. You know what I'm saying? You start playing with sounds and textures and scratches and a little ear candy and the master and the mix. This is the stuff I really, really enjoy doing. You know what I mean? So yeah, man, um, I had a lot of fun making this. I hope you had a lot of fun watching this and getting a little insight behind the scenes. Um, hope you like the beat. And quickly, man, in the comments, you know, let me know who you think will sound great on this, man. I had a couple of ideas, but I don't want to throw them out there. I want to hear what you guys got. Guys, please like, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications. I'm doing a lot more beat uploads, um, behind the scenes stuff. Um, yeah, man, just stay tuned. Want to build the community, want to keep growing. And um, I appreciate y'all showing support. Let's keep doing it. One. Yeah, I appreciate y'all. Yeah, I appreciate y'all showing support. And uh, I appreciate. I appreciate y'all showing support.